Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Nighthold Raid the in the uh, Legion expansion where uh, we're going to be getting out of bounds and uh, we're going to go take a look around the uh, out of bounds surrounding area and see what is exactly outside the boundaries of the Nighthold. Currently, we are underground, and uh, this is where we're currently at. We're actually on the first bridge after you defeat the uh, first scorpion boss. And uh, you just come into the entrance over here, defeat the boss, come across this little hallway down here, come up the stairs, and I'm on the bridge right here, right before the very second boss of the raid. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get out of bounds. Um, this raid took a long time to discover how to break out because in raids you can't use toys and whatnot unfortunately so it's kind of tough but uh, this is a way to get out that's uh very difficult <laughs> in a sense that well it's not difficult once you pull it off and practice it it's not that bad so we're going to jump on top of this first uh pillar on top of the bridge here and we're going to aim ourselves towards the uh statue we, we want to get on top of the statue. That is the goal. So we're going to get up here. We're going to jump up here. And you may not land it a few times. It does take a little bit of practice. So uh, if you don't land it, it's okay. It's going to take a few times like you see here. But you can see here it's not super easy to pull off. I try to come at an angle. There we go. And then once we get up here... All right, there we go. We got up here. So you're going to want to line yourself up with this ledge here. Once you do a, um, you're going to want to do a double jump out, then do a vengeful retreat back onto the ledge like this. And there you go. Basically, that is the hardest part of the glitch. Now, once you get up here, you're going to want to aim towards the general direction of the water. So usually water is actually there in raids and out of bounds of the map there's like a little bit of water that's actually out here so what we can do is we can actually fly through the wall here and then uh, we can actually land in the water here so there we go we are officially outside of the uh, night hold here and then what we can do is we can just swim straight up and just keep swimming just keep swimming Huh? Anyone? Finding Nemo reference? Dory? No? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to keep swimming up. And as you can see here, once we get up, we're going to be outside the map. And keep going. We're almost there. And there we go. We have officially broke outside the map and we are outside of the Nighthold. So just keep swimming and then eventually you will make it to the top and there we go we are outside the map how awesome is that so we're gonna go take a look around and here goes proof we are outside of the night hold inside of suamar city and uh, we're gonna go take a look around and see what's going on so all right everyone i will see you here in just a moment i'm gonna get outside the water all right guys we are back and uh, we're going to start running across the water. Now, I do have to warn you. You can swim in this out of bounds, but do be careful as there is a ton of death walls all around the map. Up over here, over here, over here. They're just everywhere. So just be careful uh, where you go. Uh, once you come up above the surface, like right around here, just run towards the broken shore like this way. Um... For some reason, there isn't a death wall here that I have ran into, and I have been able to get pretty far out here. Once we get out here, then we should be able to uh, get outside the map and, you know, go see the rest of the uh, broken ops. So let's go uh, take a look. So we're going to keep heading out this way, and we're going to get to the broken shore. Now, uh, I'm going to cut this video up into pieces because um, I have a sp suspicious feeling that a lot of this out of bounds is going to just be the Broken Isles. And I've done a ton of videos on the Legion expansion in the Broken Isles and 
So I don't want to have to keep showing you guys over and over and over again what is exactly the Broken Isles, which you guys already know. If you've been in retail, <laughs> you know that you can just travel to Broken Isles anytime. But I will show you kind of bits and pieces of what is on each place and uh, what they do keep outside. Now, because the Nighthold is a outdoors raid, um, I, I do assume that they keep all of the Broken Isles like they do in other Legion um, you know, other Legion raids and dungeons. Now, one thing I will say is that, you know, it's probably pretty massive. So we're going to have to do a little bit of, uh, cutting editing here, but let's go take a look through the broken shore and see if they, if they keep anything special. Sometimes with raids and dungeons, as you guys know, they, they keep, um, you know, test models and stuff like that outside. Uh, I don't know if they do keep them out here. I guess that's what we're going to go explore and that's what we're going to go try to find. So I'm going to zoom my camera around as much as possible so you guys can all get a better shot. I did drink a stinky bright potion in order to see better in the distance so that um, all the broken shore will be completely, you know, seeable, I guess you could say. Now, this is pretty neat. One thing I was always impressed about the Out of Bounds um, raid, especially for raids that are outdoors, like the Nighthold, they do keep a lot of the, you know, the props and stuff like that outside inside the world still. So you do get, like, stuff like this where all the props are still here and, like, the orb and the spear. But what's really neat is that you can still see everything. That all the animations are going. So, and, um, you normally you would have like lava, like fell lava in here, but obviously it's deloaded because you're never supposed to be back here to begin with. So just stuff like that, that is pretty neat to see in out of bounds content that I really enjoy. All right, we're going to head our way towards the tomb of Salgaris. We're going to go over there for just a second and then, uh, I'm going to edit the video and cut it. Now, I don't know where all the death walls are, the DCs, all of that are. So if I do run into something, I do apologize. Um, I mean, that is, you know, just part of the exploration of exploring out of bounds, right? So you're not always going to know where things are or where DC walls or stuff like that are. But as you can see, they do keep everything here. Oh, that's cool. Look at they keep the head out here. All of the props and everything are here to the tomb. There you go. Now, here goes the entrance to the tomb of Salgaris here. Now, with us being in a raid, obviously the other portals and everything are deactivated. So you can't actually go into the tomb of Salgaris. Um, it should stop us. Oh, maybe not. Okay. But... It's, usually you're not supposed to go past here. There's normally like a wall. This is entering into the raid, right? So. And then the side entrance to the Cathedral of Eternal Night is over here. But as you can see, nothing too special out here. So there's the entrance to the Cathedral of Eternal Night right there. And uh, yeah, so both everything is here for the most part intact. So that's pretty cool. I like seeing it. But uh, all right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to go run to the next place and I will see you in just a minute. All right, guys, we are back and uh, we have gotten as far away from the raid as pretty much possible to avoid the death walls. Now, again, I don't know where all the death walls, all the DC walls are. So we're just going to take our best guess here and go around the map. Now we are coming into Azuna over here and uh, we just came from the broken shore all the way over there. And uh, we're going to go ahead over into here. Now, something really funny is because you're never supposed to see this far out here anyways, all the caves and stuff have deloaded. So like right here, there's this giant like hole in the wall that is normally supposed to be a cave. Do not jump in there as you will DC most 100% likely. Look at another cave over here. That's also deloaded as well. So a lot of the caves and stuff are gone. Uh, the water and stuff is still here, which I'm pretty surprised. Some of it, but if you go like over here, but it looks like a lot of Azuna is actually unloaded. 
Which is really kind of neat because you don't get to see a lot of this normally. So it's kind of cool to see a broken aisle that's been unloaded, but like I said before, um, I'm not gonna, I'll try not to show everything off, but it, it looks like this is actually the edge of the world over here. So they don't, I, okay, so that tells me that they most likely don't keep the whole broken aisles, just a very cut down version of it. So um, as you can see, a lot of it is broken off, which is fun. Um, because normally that doesn't happen. They usually keep the whole broken, broken aisles. This also might be just like the broken aisles in the uh, Tomb of Sogaris raid. Uh, for those of you who have watched that video, if you notice I had, uh, broken out of that video and, uh, was able to get out and escape and they actually keep a, uh, full version of the, well, almost a full version of the broken aisles. And that map was just crazy to explore. Uh, there was a lot going on in that map. That was a really fun... That was probably one of my favorite OOBs I've done on this channel, is the Tomb of Selgaris. That was a lot of fun. I had a really good time with that. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as well. Um, also, when exploring Azuna, make sure to avoid this area over here, which is the Felsol Hold. Uh, I DC a lot when I go in there, especially when I do out of bounds videos. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Maybe you have better luck than I do. But, uh, from what I've seen for most videos, a lot of it is just DC territory. And what I mean by, so those of you who are new to the channel, maybe you play World of Warcraft, but you don't do out of bounds. There are things called DC. We all deal with it, right? Disconnects. Uh, there are parts of maps that do not get loaded in properly or just don't get loaded in completely. They look like they do, but they're just like smoke and mirrors. So Blizzard will save resources and not load in certain parts of the map. And then once you go inside of that, your character has nothing to stand on or doesn't know where it's at. So it just DCs. Uh, so you'll have to either put in a Blizzard support ticket and get yourself unstuck. Or get lucky and load back in and be able to like vengeful retreat out or something. So, but yeah. Um, also avoid water for those of you who are new to the channel and maybe doing out of bounds exploration for the first time. Water is dangerous as well. Not in this map. Raids seem to be pretty safe with water. I don't really have a lot of problems with water in raids. It's more dungeons, if anything. Now, this is awesome. I've never seen an unloaded Azuna before. Look at this. How cool is that? Now, if I'm not mistaken, isn't this where the, uh, the, what's that map? Or what's that called? The Black Rook Hold is supposed to be? Or are we not that far yet? It's so awesome seeing everything deloaded. I love this so much. This is so cool. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at the whole thing's gone in the middle here. That's a cool shot. I'm going to get a picture of that, actually. I like taking screenshots for those of you who are also new to the channel. I like to save my... I like to save my uh, <laughs> memories of when I do out of bounds content. So there you guys go. That is Azuna. We went to the Broken Shore. Here's Azuna. You can see it's all unloaded. And uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead into Val Shara. Something I wanted to point out real quick was we were actually in Val Shara. And actually, if you head down this road, normally you'd go into the... Um, what do you call it? The uh, Dream Grove. The uh, Druid Order Hall or Order Class Hall. And, uh, but you can see here that nothing is here. It's all unloaded. And this is actually the edge of the world right over here. So the map isn't as big as I thought it would be. Um, which I'm kind of surprised. I would be curious to get inside of Dalaran. And I wonder if we can actually fly there. That seems like a doable distance. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can get on top of High Mountain on the opposite side and see if we can fly into Dalaran.
That would be a lot of fun. But as you guys see here, I'm coming up the mountain. Look at this. I just love like these set pieces that are just here. I, you know, you know what this reminds me of? Doing out of bounds content reminds me of like being an actor on like a movie set where you're just exploring like abandoned like set pieces. <laughs> That's kind of reminds me of like it's just like it's just so out of place. Not everything's loaded in. You just have certain scenes that are set up like right here, right? You have a bridge that would just be set up for just like a certain shot in a movie. And then you go over here and there's nothing like, I don't know that it, that's what like doing out of bounds content reminds me of a lot. And, uh, but anyways, we're going to come up here. I'm going to give you guys this awesome view shot of the whole map. Well, part of the map. There goes the night hold raid over there. You got Dalaran in the distance, high mountain. This is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun with this out of bounds. So pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go head out that way. We're going to go ahead uh, this way and we're going to see if we can get into Snorheim and get into a little bit. It looks like maybe a little bit of high mountains here, like the very beginning beginning. And I'm going to see if I can actually get on top of the mountain and fly in Dalaran. So we're going to attempt that as well. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. <laughs> we're taking a little lovely fly here back down into Suamar, coming up here in just a minute. But we have made our way back into the map, all coming all the way from where we were, kind of crossed all the ledge over here. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to actually get into High Mountain, because I would love to get all the way to the top, but we're going to go around and we're going to go check out. So let's actually head this way. And let's go see exactly what is over here. You can see a lot of the set pieces are still here in the distance. And we do got to be careful. Oh, check it out. Huh. They left a plaque out here we can read. Let's see it. Chimes of the moon. The sisters say that Elune sings a song, notes pure and beautiful. The chime does not ring often, but when it does, it has the same note as the one she is singing. Sin a la Elune. All right, cool. You know, that's a first. I don't think I've actually ever seen a uh, plaque that's been readable in Dungeons and Ra- Or I probably just haven't paid attention. But that's cool. All right. That's a first for the All Things Nerd channel. Check out this beautiful shot. You can see of Sumar City here. So there goes the Nighthold raid that we broke out of. Um, let's actually head this way because I'm trying to avoid the raid as much as possible. I don't want to go back into bounds and uh, die or DC or whatever. So we're going to head up here. We're going to try to avoid as much as possible. But I'm going to try to give you guys the best shots that I can outside the raid here. Now, now, not unfortunately, but good that we are so far outside the raid that we shouldn't be hitting any more death walls. So here goes the entrance actually going into Stormheim or and also High Mountain coming up here in just a second. But as you can tell, they do deload everything, all the trees and all that back here. Normally there's stuff here that you would run into, but because we are outside the Nighthold raid, um, nothing is actually here with the trees and all that. There we go. Huh, look at these random just floating signs. One probably says, you know, this way to Stormheim, this way to Azuna. That's cool. I'm going to take a picture of that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Now there goes the Stormheim cave. Check that out. But uh, we're going to go run up into here. So it does look like we can go in here on the back side. So let's go run into Stormheim. Let's go see what they actually keep back here. Hope you guys are enjoying my cat mount. I like this mount a lot. It's fun. Now, what's funny is I'm not a cat person in real life. <laughs> I don't like cats. I'm a dog person. I love dogs. Grew up with dogs all my life. Never grew up with a cat. Don't like cats. I do like cats in video games <laughs> where they're not going to hurt me and be mean. Um, yeah, just not a cat person. Never have been. Just not a fan of cats. I think they're mean. Uh, but anyways, it doesn't matter what I think. I like dogs. Dogs are my thing. I would get a dog over a cat any day, so I just uh, have never really enjoyed cats. All right. 
We finally have made it into Stormheim. I have never seen an unloaded Stormheim before, so this should be fun. Or I should say, like, unloaded in the sense of all the models and the houses and stuff are gone. The land's here. Just nothing is here in general. Oh, look at that. Um, all of the Halls of Valor is gone as well. I, I forget names, so I have to, like, open my map to see what is exactly we're looking at. Sometimes I just forget. Let's go over here. I'm going to zoom in here and give you guys a good shot of the valley we're going to be going into here in just a second. Check it out. Isn't that awesome? It's cool, like, seeing everything unloaded. Let's go actually head over to the Halls of Valor. So we'll make our way out there. And then what we'll do is I'll try to make my way to the top as much as I can with High Mountain. And we'll see if we can actually um, fly into Dalaran. So, okay, good. I do have a way back up, which is right over here. So that's good. But let's go head over here and let's go see if we can. I want to go see the Halls of Valor without nothing there. And that should be very, really interesting. The only thing is if there's a way up there, that's my question. Okay. Now, here's another thing. For those of you that do out of bounds exploration, another tip, avoid water like really out far outside the map. I don't trust this water at all. If we were to jump in this water, most likely we would DC. So I don't want to test it. So I'm just going to avoid it for now. Good thing we were able to fly. Um, and if you haven't yet, I would highly recommend you invest in some inflatable mount shoes. Those things will change your world for out of bounds exploration. Uh, you definitely need those if you're going to be doing out of bounds because some of the dungeons and raids, I would have never been able to probably do if I didn't have those to run across the water. It's almost impossible. All right, we're going to go ahead up here. I don't know if we can actually get into the Halls of Valor. We might have to do a little bit of OO being maneuvering here, but maybe on the backside here. Now this is actually the edge of the map. I know that for a fact. Okay. Maybe able to just to fly across from the other side. So let's go up here. And then, um, let's go ahead over here. See, that's where we want to get to. We want to go see Halls of Valor unloaded, but we got to get across here. So let's go actually go. Oh, I think we can head up here, actually. Maybe. Hmm, I don't know if we can make that jump, unfortunately. Oh, I think we can just go around. All right, we're being stupid here. Let's go around. And we might not be able to actually get over there. Look at the X markings. That's cool. So here you go. Um, nice. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to fly over. Sweet. I'm glad that worked out. I was going to be real sad if we couldn't get up there. I really wanted to see stuff over here. See if there's anything fun or interesting. Most likely probably not, but... Let's go up here. All right, we finally made it to the Halls of Valor. Look at this. Awesome. Look at that. Everything's unloaded. This is cool. So here goes the markings on the ground. Most likely by the developers. Just like leftover assets. But this is awesome. I've never seen this unloaded before. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing else here. But this is what I wanted to go see. So we're going to go head up the mountain here. Give you guys another awesome shot of Stormheim. And then uh, I'm going to make my way. Try to get my way up on top of the mountain there. I don't know if it's going to work. I will do my best of doing my OOB trickery maneuvering. Um, and then try to fly into Dalaran if we can. Maybe. Who knows? Let's get to the very top here. 
It's an awesome view. You know, I'm kind of disappointed in some of these OOBs because I feel like there should be test models or something fun to find outside, but I think Blizzard stopped hiding stuff outside of raids and dungeons because they were like, people like Nathan want to go explore everything. <laughs> so they just took away all the fun from us. There you go, guys. That is also Stormheim. And uh, I'll give you guys a great shot here. All right, I'm going to go see if I can make my way up the mountain. If I cannot, there's going to be a cliffhanger. Sorry, <laughs> I know some of you guys hate cliffhangers, but I uh, I appreciate every single person supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm going to do my best at keeping up great content on the channel and have fun doing these OOBs. You guys are just amazing. I appreciate every single one of you that like the con that like the videos, comment, um, just participate in, you know, if you guys ever have a place you want me to go explore, let me know. A lot of you ask me, hey, have you done this? Have you done that? Most likely the answer is yes. <laughs> so you just got to go look for the video on the channel. If you are like, hey, have you done this dungeon? Are you done this raid? Yes, I have. <laughs> Most likely. Uh, I will tell you a lot of the newer content I have not done. I have not done the War Within. I have not done Shadowlands. Most of Shadowlands at all. Uh, I'm actually saving that for next year, the beginning of next year. We're going to kick off 2025 with the Shadowlands. And we're going to be doing a whole breakdown of the Shadowlands. So, um, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, But yeah, I haven't done a lot of the newer expansions. So I will tell you that right now. So that is left to be done. There's still a lot of scenarios I'm missing. There's there's just a ton of content in World of Warcraft that I haven't covered. So there's going to be content for years to come. I'm excited to get this channel past 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there. And uh, so I just want to thank every single one of you. If you do not hear back from me and the video ends right here, I apologize. That means I did not make it up on the mountain. But if you don't, I'll see you here in a minute. Thank you, everyone. Take care. My name is Nathan. All right, everyone, I have officially made it to the top of the mountain and sadly, we are hitting walls. You got to be kidding me. We get all the way up here and we can't even walk forward. OK, really? Here's the game. Is this really the edge of the map here? Oh, my goodness. Just took me like an hour or something to climb this thing. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, we got past it. We're good. All right. No, never mind. Cool. All right. We're at the top of the mountain. Um, that was a moment. Uh, we must have hit a wall. So let's go over here real quick. I want to go show you guys the rest of the world. Now, I need to drink another stinky bright potion because we can't see anything. I guess we still can't see anything. But here you go. We are officially on top of the mountain. And this is what is up here. I don't think the Hunter's Lodge is up here. Unfortunately or anything. So, yeah. There you go. That is what uh, on top of the mountain in the... Um, what do you call it? The Nighthold. <laughs> Woo, almost forgot the raid. 
Now, where is Dalaran? I think it's over there. So we're going to try to attempt to fly to Dalaran, and I think it's better to get on that. I think that mound's taller, yeah. We're going to go over there. So we're going to head here. We're going to go fly over here. And I'm going to be super careful because I do not want to waste all my hard work of getting up on top of this mountain here. Nice. We're going to make it to the very top here. Okay, we're going to get back on our mount. Now, we're going to aim towards Dalaran. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to make this or not. But we're going to at least try our best attempt here. And we're hitting more walls. Isn't that just great? Okay, our uh, metamorphosis should be up here in just a second. Technically, I think we're leaving the boundaries of the map. So I think that's why we're getting stuck. Are we up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love the cat. Uh, okay. So we have officially made it on top of the mountain here. And we're going to get to the very tippy top. And there we go. Check that out. We are on top of the Nighthold map. Now, Dalaran, I can see, is right here in the distance. What we may be able to do is pop a sea mist potion and then get over that way. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. This is going to be a big maybe. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the potion, then go, then... um. Ventral retreat, ventral retreat, and we're going to see if we can get into Dalaran that way. All right. All right, guys. Let's make sure we're aiming. Yep. I see Dalaran in the distance. Let's go back. There we go. Okay. Actually, I think we have some... Um, I bought some inky black potion. Does that make anything better? No, that just makes everything 10 times worse. Okay. So, um, here we go. We're going to attempt it. This is going to be our attempt at getting to Dalaran from the top of High Mountain. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took me a long time to get up here. And uh, here are our attempt at Dalaran. Here we go.
I'm so sad. <laughs> it looks like we're not going to make this, unfortunately. But we were close. I'm pretty happy with our attempt. I thought we did pretty good for the most part. But unfortunately, we're just a little too short. We did pretty good about flying. I was actually most afraid was hitting a death wall on the way down. But unfortunately, we were not high enough. You know, I think the gliding in the beginning threw me off. Uh, with the whole uh, travel here. I think I should have never glided and just let the sea mist potion do its thing. Well, all right, guys. Well, that is my attempt at the uh, night hole dollar on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, it was a lot of work to get up on high mountain, but that's okay. Uh, we, we tried our best attempt at getting in the dollar on. I think you need a little bit of a leverage boost to get up there. Um, on, now, good thing is we can float in the water. So, all right, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Take care.